guys welcome back to my channel my name is beige if you're new here welcome don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave today's video is going to be a tutorial on this beautiful beautiful wig that i was sent from genius wigs i will have all of their information the promo codes and the direct links down below in the description box so the wig that i was sent is a 20 inch 13 by six and a half crystal lace front wig the density is 150 percent the texture is kinky straight and this wig features a kinky curly hairline. Taking this wig out of the package, I just, the first thought that I had when I saw this hair texture was 70s blowout. And I was super happy when I saw that the knots were already bleached for me and the hairline was practically perfect straight out of the package, which means less work for me because all of the hard work is already done for us. I also really, really, really like the curl pattern on this hairline. This wig does feature four combs, an adjustable strap, and a removable elastic band. And I am super excited to see how this is all gonna come out, so let's jump straight into it. I'm gonna grab the wig and I'm gonna tint the lace first. And to do that, I'll be doing two different custom shades. So the first color is the color of my foundation and I'll be spraying that along the hairline portion of the lace frontal. The second color is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that on the inner portion of this lace frontal. I'm doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer for a custom color match. So to get those really flowy and bouncy 70s blowout curls, I have to cut layers into the hair for that movement. So I'm just gonna grab one inch sections and start to cut face framing layers into the hair. Yes, look at the movement and body that this hair now has after I cut those face framing layers. That is exactly what I was looking for. So now I am just going to grab BioSilk's Silk Infusion Hair Serum, apply that to the hair, and then in small sections, just grab my Baby Bliss Curling Iron and start to curl this hair. And I'm doing curls that are going out of my face or away from my face. So basically flips. So now that I am at the front of the head, I am just going to do three pin curls on the left and right side of this wig just to get that hair out of my face, just so that I can see exactly what I am doing as I am installing this wig. Grabbing a pair of pinking shears, I'm going to carefully follow the hairline, cutting right in front of it to remove that extra lace. So now I'm just gonna grab the wig, place it on my head in its proper placement. So I'm just gonna make sure that the ear tabs are lined up and that all of the combs are properly lined up and that the wig is, you know, where it's supposed to be. Because this is a curly edge or a kinky edge hairline wig, I am going to do my sponge and adhesive method to install this wig. One thing that I do like about the kinky curly hairline wigs is that if the hairline is not a perfect match for your hairline, as you notice the hairline on this wig is more squared and my hairline is more round, all I have to do is just kind of bring some of those baby hairs forward where it needs to be filled in and it just looks natural. I prefer, if it's done right, my best types of wigs to wear have been the kinky curly edge wigs, if it's done right. Like a lot of companies don't really get it right, but I do feel like this company did do it right. This company did a great job with this, this wig and construction of it. 
So I'm just gonna grab Even New York's Wonder Lace Bond and a makeup sponge. I'm gonna spray some of that Wonder Lace Bond onto the makeup sponge. And then I am just going to press the adhesive into the lace at the very edge of it. I'm going to go around the entire hairline just pressing that adhesive in with the makeup sponge. And then I am going to put my headscarf on for about 15 minutes and allow it to set. Okay, removing that headscarf, most of the baby hairs are smashed down onto my head, as you can see, but do not worry, do not worry. That can be fixed. I'm just going to grab my baby hair brush comb duo, and I'm using the brush to gently brush those hairs um, off of my face because it's kind of plastered down to my face. I'm just going to use that to gently brush those hairs down, and then I'm going to figure out how I want to style the baby hairs. So I did decide to add some light hold gel to the edges and then just play around with the baby hairs a little bit. Me personally, when I have curly baby hairs, I like to flip them upwards with my baby hair comb. So that's what you see me doing now. I find that it's easier to style when the hairs are flipped upwards. Um, and I just love the the texture that it creates and the curl pattern that it creates. So I'm just going to comb some of them back into the hair, you know, back into the hairline, and then I'm going to comb some of them forward. I'm just playing around with it. Now I'm just going to take down the bobby pins and see what we are working with with our 70s blowout look. The hair was kind of um, big, but I had to use my flat iron and my pressing comb just to go over the parting space a little bit more just to flatten that area. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Let's chat everything this wig. Let's talk about the texture, the density. Let's talk about the hairline. Let's talk about how natural this wig looks. I was floored. When I went outside and I started taking pictures, I was just feeling this wig. Like I was feeling this hairstyle. It looks so natural. Like no one could come up to me and say, girl, where would you get your wig from? No, they'll be saying, girl, where you get your hair pressed at? Like that's what it's giving me. It's giving me natural. It's giving me, this is my hair. It's giving me my natural curls. I just blew them out. And this is how I'm wearing my hair. It's definitely giving me lightweight, flowy, cute. The hairline is unclockable. You're not going to see the lace at all because it's not there. Don't even exist because it's my hair. Like, I love this wig so much. Genius Wigs did an amazing job with this unit. I love, 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 love it. I give it two thumbs up. I'm obsessed with it. Three, five thumbs up, 10 thumbs up, y'all. I love this wig. This one is definitely a diamond. So I will have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct link to this wig from Genius Wigs down below in the description box. So don't forget to look down below for more information. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below so that I know you stopped by. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell also to be notified of my future uploads. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Aye, aye, aye.